to screen for cervical cancer, it involves uh, doing a pap test, and that's conducted by your family physician, your naturopathic doctor, or your medical doctor. And this involves a speculum examination where some of the cells from the cervix are going to be removed and sent to the lab for analysis. And if it's identified that there are some uh, abnormal cells, then further testing is going to be is going to be done. If it's um, in a woman who previously didn't have an abnormal pap exam or pap test, then there may not be any further testing. It may just uh, meaning there w might not be any further uh, invasive investigations, but rather the doctor may suggest that you come back every come back in another three months and every three months for a little while until your uh, cervical screen is is negative. It's important to obtain an HPV test when you're doing screens for cervical cancer, if you're over the age of 30, because the HPV or human papilloma virus has been associated with up to 70% of cervical cancers. So there are actually 150 different types of HPV uh, strains, viral strains, and about 40 of those we know can be transferred uh, from skin to skin contact and infect genital cells. So skin to skin contact meaning through anal sex or oral sex um, or standard you know vaginal intercourse and so if uh, if you're having HPV tests then you you are more likely to identify if there's a high risk uh, HPV infection. So that's about 18 different uh, strains of HPV that we know have been associated with precancerous cervical changes or cervical cancer and there are a few in particular that we know are sort of the high risk um, HPV uh, viral types and then we know that there are some that are slightly lower risk and if we do the HPV testing then we have a better idea of whether or not this person needs to be screened a little more often or if they can be uh, screened less often. 70% of cervical cancers are known to be HPV driven however there's still the 30% that we know are not driven by HPV and so we still have to do that pap test because that pap test can help us capture the other individuals that actually you know aren't necessarily HPV positive but have uh, you know have cervical cancer.